Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Porsche. So I've been working on the Land Rover for a, a very long time now to get it ready for the uh, inspections. But now that that has, has uh, not come to an end, but you know, uh, come, to a, come to a point where I can, I can concentrate on other things, I've got to start looking at the Porsche again because it's been on this lift uh, in this condition since uh, the, about the middle of October and it's off the road anyway for uh, the winter months so what I want to do is I want to try and address all of the issues if possible by the time it's uh, back on the road in on the beginning of March next year. So I've done a whole bunch of video on getting the car up to this point but I'm not sure about how much of that I'm actually going to use. But essentially, the reason why it's up on the lift is because at the end of this year, at the end of this year's season, um, I wanted to get it properly aligned um, because I'd had it done a couple of times in the past and it wasn't driving particularly well. Uh, so I ended up getting a specialist out here and he did a couple of hours worth of work on the car to uh, measure. Just He was just measuring for a couple of hours and he ascertained that there was an issue with this rear right hand side uh, wheel hub so this is the wheel hub i've removed the wheel hub uh, visually it looks fine other than the scratches on the inside where the drive shaft has, has collected rust and expanded where the abs ring has started to to scratch on the abs sensor itself there visually it looks fine but he said that this has been damaged in some 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 way and it needs to be replaced so I'm at the point where I can buy the new one, but the new one is over 500 euros. So I haven't quite got to that with the costs of the Land Rover and so on. Um, I've been holding back a little bit, but now I've got a little bit of time and I really want to start looking at getting this back on the road. So the first step is to get a new wheel hub and I want to get that complete with uh, bearing, ABS sensor and everything essentially like that. And I've got one lined up ready to go. I just have to pay for it and it's brand new. And in the meantime, I will also, these are on the shelf over there, replace these suspension parts on both sides. So there are four, two on each side. And when I did the suspension originally on this car, those are the only parts that I didn't replace. And they hang from there and up there. So essentially that will give the car completely new suspension. So that's one of the things. So over here... I've already, sorry, my battery died on that phone there. So just cut, uh, coming back to where I, I left off, uh, these um, axles either side are pretty badly corroded. And I thought I had to buy new axles at, uh, when I first took them off. But actually, when I started to clean them up and take the rust off, this was the, the, the offending part, really, where the, the speed sensor ring, which sits over here, uh, had been pushed out to an extent that it was... Um, scraping on the wheel hub. So I managed to get those speed sensor rings from a place in the UK um, because Porsche don't supply them separately. And I'm gonna do this to the other side and when they're both done, I'm gonna put them back in the car. So I need to essentially take the, take this wheel off, take this wheel hub off as well, or at least not the wheel hub possibly, but just to get the axle out of here and do the same work on that axle and put it back in and, that, and that's done. So other than that, I have a leaking air conditioning system and you can see the leak has spread out underneath the car under here. So the leak is on one of the join pipes on there. So I need to take the, the under floor um, covers off and replace that. I might need a new pipe. It might just need a new, might need just cleaning up and um, uh, a new seal. So there's that job. And the other job that I have is over here, the brake lines, these two brake lines, which run right from the front of the car to a junction point just under here are completely rusted. So they were, I mean, they look terrible. They've got really bad really quickly, I think, just while the car's been sitting. Um, but I won't drive the car until I've done that as well. So while I'm doing that, I might also have a look at putting some braided pipes on here take things like these brackets off and clean them up and paint them and maybe treat these these pipes here the brake lines there so quite a lot of work to be done and maybe i'll be able to get all the parts that i need i also need to replace the handbrake cables as well so there's quite a lot to do and i'm sure once i'm doing the work i'll find some other issues that need addressing as well because that's usually the way 
But I'm going to get started. I'm not going to video the work in detail as I did on the Land Rover. I'm just going to crack on with it because videoing just takes a huge amount of time. I'm just going to crack on with the jobs and see how far I get. Okay, so just a quick update. I've been at it for about maybe 20 minutes or so and everything's come off pretty, pretty easily. I've got this hub nut or the axle nut off. I had to heat that up uh, to, to get it to move. Uh, got it off with the breaker bar and just taken off the disc brake and taken off the caliper. And now what I'm gonna do is take these nuts and bolts off here so I can, uh, cause I've got to replace these anyway. Then I'll remove the rest of them and take this hub off just like I did the other side. And then I'll remove the drive shaft. Okay, so uh, that took a bit of time getting these axle hub bolts out. This is what they look like. Essentially they go in in here and they hold the axle to the gearbox um, and they get a quite a lot of weather so what happens is the bolts they protrude ever so slightly about a half a millimeter out the back of this flange and they collect rust at the back and at the front uh, so what i did was i obviously put them uh yeah doused them in wd-40 uh but then also i had to heat them up very carefully around there literally pointing the flame away from this rubber boot and away from the uh, the gearbox, obviously, because there's a, there's a seal in there, so you have to be very careful. I actually used a bit of metal down there to deflect it, to deflect the flame. Um, and most of them came out, but I was stuck with three, and they really weren't coming out, even with the, the impact gun. Basically, what I used is that extension with the impact gun. And what did work in the end was putting the extension in, putting the bit in, and then giving them a clout with a hammer from this side, four or five bangs, and then they ended up coming out on the impact gun. So they are now out. I've also very carefully tapped the middle of that axle. So, uh, so it's now moving. You can see it's moving in the hub. So that's loose and free. Uh, but what I need to do now is bring the hub this way. So I just need to see what, well, maybe, Maybe I can get away. I'm going to try and get away without having to take any more off, actually. Maybe... Sorry about that. Maybe I can move that forward enough to bring the axle out. So I'll Okay, so I've got that axle finally out of there. I ended up taking pretty much all of these suspension parts away from the hub, apart from the handbrake cable, uh, to get it out. I couldn't see a way of bringing this forward allowing enough room to to get the stub out of the uh, out of the hub here. Uh, so I took took pretty much all of the, uh, the suspension arms off and just the first look then at this and you can see this is the issue that I have. And I'm sure other people around the world have the same issue. The end part of this axle, uh, which is quite exposed, it uh, it rusts and what happens is it it pushes this ABS ring outwards and it starts to rub on the ABS sensor. And I got to the point where I could actually hear it uh, scraping when I was driving, which is really annoying. So that's the reason why I've taken these out. As I said, let me look here. I've got two new sensor rings. These are, I think, 48 hole, and I got them from the UK. Uh, I can't remember the just check the name of the company they are called uk parts direct and this is the abs ring for porsche 996 and anyway so what i did on the other axle is i slid this off knocked away all the rust because basically you can see it's just a build-up of rust it's not actually rusting through it's just a build-up of rust look that's that's good metal underneath there which is what i found out when i when I started to strip the other one, I thought I was had, had, gonna have to buy two new axles. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna clean this one up and do exactly the same as I did with the other one, and then fit these rings. The way you fit these rings is, you heat them up slightly, slide them on, they cool down and they clamp on. So I've just cut that ring off there, and you can see the amount of rust buildup behind that ring. It's really, it's really bad. But as I say, it's just build up because underneath there is, whoops there goes my axle is just good metal so 
just going to tidy that up and fit the new ring. But just having a, a quick look at the rest of the shaft, that is the part number. So it's 06, and they substituted that for 02417, and that's the only two parts that fit the Carrera 2. Um, the 03 doesn't fit, because that was for the 3.4, so the 06 and the, and the 0.17 are for the 3.6. But otherwise, I'm going to have to obviously lose that sticker, unfortunately, because there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Well, I say a lot of work, it's not that much work, but they, it certainly needs a bit of repair work. Okay, so I've just spent some time uh, taking the rust off this drive shaft, cleaning it up a little bit. You can see there, I've taken it back down to the bare metal. It's actually some kind of a rubberized paint they use on these drive shafts, <clears throat> I guess because they know they're going to get um, like pretty beaten up down there, so close to the ground. But yeah, cleaned that up there, used the old brake cleaner to get it nice and clean, and I'll put some, some kind of uh, rust proofing on there on there now and then paint them black again okay so I primed that yesterday the drive shaft uh, or the half shaft at least and uh, while I'm I just gave it a quick coat of black just now and while I'm waiting for that to dry um, what I'm doing now is I'm just taking off the the panels underneath here just to access this entire brake line so from memory, there's a joint here somewhere at the back, but actually it runs up all the way under here, all the way this, under this wheel arch liner here. And it might actually go into the servo. I think that's one piece. So I'm having to do a bit of investigation to see how I can get that out. Okay, so I've got that panel off to expose uh, those brake lines under there. And there's, an actually, there's actually a junction directly underneath that cover plate. So while those look pretty manky, it's just surface and I'll be able to clean those up, but it's really along here where you can see they start getting pretty rusty. So from that section, both of those pipes definitely need replacing and they go up underneath here, up into the wheel well. And I've taken off the wheel liner or the wheel arch liner and I've just got a see them there actually, that's where they go in. So while I'm here as well, I need to see what's wrong with the wash wipe for the um, headlights. So, and that's that there. So that will probably have to come out. I don't actually know if I have to take the wing off uh, to get the, uh, the brake lines out. But that would be silly, so I don't think I do. Okay, so just taking that uh, sponge section off there, which is on clips, there's a, a metal plate or protection cover really for all of these vulnerable cables uh, coming up into the wheel arch here. So there's the blue one's the vacuum pump or the vacuum line I should say and, and you can see the the brake cables or brake lines coming up into here. They're all fine up here, they're all in good condition, it's just under the car where they're exposed. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll probably clean that up and put a, a coat of black hammerite on it and also clean up under here as well. Okay, so I finally got the uh, water canister out for the wash wipe system. And it's a bit tricky, a bit fiddly. I ended up having to drain it, but these pumps, the smaller one is for the windscreen and the bigger one, this really fat cable here, is actually for the uh, lights, surprisingly. You would have thought it's the other way around. But anyway, um, I drained the, uh, the water into that bucket there. And then taking that out, uh, a gives me an opportunity to give it a clean and also, you know, check out some surface rust in here. If there's anything like that, give it a good clean up. Um, but also it allows me good access to these uh, brake lines. So there are these two here, which you can see, you can see the big fat one. Um, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the two thin ones there. In, up, up here, obviously, they're in excellent condition. And they go both forward to the ABS unit right here. So I'll, I'll take them off there and then they travel underneath the car and all the way down to this connecting unit just here. 
So they've both got different part numbers. I don't know which one's which, but one finishes in 18, the other one finishes in 19. And one of them is 60 euros, the other one is 50 euros. And I also just ordered another handbrake cable for this side because this one's broken. And I think that was about 50 euros. So all in all, it's about, you know, 160 euros. I don't know if that's with or without VAT. But I mean, of course you can make your own brake lines, but, and I'm sure you could get them in, in stainless steel as well. But I thought just, just for the sake of getting the job done, I get them from Porsche and they'll be here in 24 hours. So that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna drain the uh, brake fluid from the system and get ready for when I receive those brake lines. Okay, so now I've just taken that other underbody panel off and this is where my AC is leaking. I believe it's either both of those or this one here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them both apart and check the seals. But as you can see, it's just leaked all the way around there.